Greetings, Masanda Wana. We're back once again with the Yellow Corner. We're here to bring you the preview of our league match against Morocco Swallows on Wednesday night. Rabze, how are you, uh, Mr. Mutu? I'm not. I'm not even here. Ah, it's sharp, man. I'm, I'm okay under the circumstances. Not too well, but I'm okay, man. Uh, yeah, we start this preview on a very, 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 very sad note, man. Uh, Mamelodi Sundowns Football Club is uh, one soldier short as of yesterday, man. Uh, an, an integral part of our fan base is no more. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen on social media, you've all seen posts from uh, our fan base, our club, our co- our former coach, Pito. Yeah, uh, it's with great sadness sorry, we've lost uh, John Black uh, Madumo, and yeah, man, it's 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 not gonna be the same. Uh, go stadium, go scoop room, man. I mean, those who watch on TV, that drum that you always hear beating for ninety minutes. Uh, yeah, Johnny Black uh, was was the man behind that. So hopefully, uh, going forward, we won't stop. Uh, we will make him happy. More mm. uh, than by continuing to, to 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 beat the drums go stadium to uh, sing 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 our lungs out like he used to you know and yeah a very very sad day man it's 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 it's, it's, it's like we we going to towards the last stretch of the season and uh, every army needs uh, all its soldiers to attack Oyabo and we are one soldier down and a very important soldier at that, you know. Yeah. Um, another thing that I need to apologize for, man, it's the the, 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 the episode here yeah, last week, the preview here, yeah, uh, our match against El Marek, man. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't post it due to technical issues. And yeah, I apologize for that once again, man. It was a dope, dope, dope episode man it, it it upset me that we couldn't post it you know uh, we had a special guest man and hopefully uh, we'll have her uh, before the end of the season i gave yeah but so apologies for that man yeah perhaps getting into this match man uh moraga swallows uh their game against marisberg was uh, postponed due to terrible weather conditions on sunday they last played Moliki in Gadi's sixth time match. Uh, so by the time they play us, yes. excuse me, it would be a month exactly since they played a, a league game. Uh, but their last official game was on the 11th of March when they played uh, Royal AM. With the form that swallows, uh, the terrible form that they've been in uh, this season, uh, do you feel or, uh, this, the break that they've had between then and now has helped Kurt work on his team? Or, like we always say, Jorge, you rest, you rust. So the, the, the rest, yeah, one, yeah, almost a month. Do you think it would, be, it would have a negative impact? I think it, it will have a, a positive uh, impact because of, remember, uh, Dylan Kerr joined Mokoka Suelos in the middle of the uh, season. So they didn't have enough time to, 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 to prepare. But I, I guess this international break gave him a, a, a time to, to, to prepare and to, to, to fix the team and get the solid uh, starting lineup that will help him uh, 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 going forward because of, they're in a position where uh, uh, they need a, a, a lot of uh, wins because of they want to escape the uh, relegation zone. But I think uh, this international break we, we, we will help will help uh, to, to, to fix their team to get their structure right and uh, hopefully win a couple of games where they can escape the, the, the uh, relegation zone. Yeah, I think uh, Lena, this this break might uh, it, it came at the right time for them, considering the fact that uh, it was starting to look like things are not okay in camp. Uh, rumors of a uh, uh, Pay the salaries that the players need to uh, how uh, two 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 uh, vital cogs uh, to their team in Mataba and Mire left, especially Mire. You know, uh, it looked like the camp mm. in a sharp, and then uh, their coach Dylan Kerr 
ka his last post match interview where he was not happy at all ka di players he 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 threw them under the bus he put it all, he put the blame on them and what, what do you make what did you make of that uh, coaching uh, basically saying or no it's not his fault that they lost it's it's the players do you think this uh, uh, might uh, tend to bite him on his behind or it will push the players to do better <laughs> it might push the players to, to to play better and improve but also it might be the opposite uh, but from that statement uh, from a uh, uh, i sense a uh, frustration because of in training sessions you do all of the all all, all these things that you want to execute uh, in the match day but come match day your players don't don't show up and and uh, they don't execute that plan very well i think that's why uh, uh, delinke was frustrated but him as a leader as a coach I expected him to 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 deal with that situation much better because of he's a coach like he should protect the players i think it would be better if he, he he said those kind of things in the dressing room not in public where he said uh, 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 in the post match interview where, where he was interviewed by Mpolo Tsulunyan. So I think we should have uh, waited for the for the post-match interview to end and then went to the dressing room, then say whatever he wanted to say. But saying that in public, I, I, that, that's totally wrong. But it's frustration. Some coaches can handle th- those situations much better. But I think you will learn from that. And I think I would do that possible. I think we did it also blind, blind, and knowing the soccer players, knowing the soccer yeah. players, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, he fumbled, he he blundered, he blundered big time, and for his sake, I hope uh, it doesn't come back to bite him on his behind, like I said, and he's able to uh, save Swallows from uh, uh, going down and and then get tattoo. Or can I tattoo the tall how we need cap of it or get that in? Last of a villa relegation. Remember, all I answer La Baroca last time I had a bachelor chips go to the first stadium. I don't know if you call it Okay, so there's another uh, tattoo. No, 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 home game this season uh, like they're currently 14th on the lock they've played 22 games they've only won three games the whole of uh, a, a current com- the current campaign they've drawn nine they've lost 10 and uh, they've scored 11 goals 11 goals a uh, considered 23 goals goal difference yeah, when I came to minus 12 they are on 18 points they are points per, per game key 0.82 they average goals for them. They average 0.5, which is very, very poor. It's, it's poor, poor, poor. And they um, average uh, goals against 1.05, which is also poor, man. Do you think they have what it takes to beat Sundowns looking at their stats, looking at how their season has panned out so far? <laughs> <laughs> like I think uh, last season they, 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 they relied too much on uh, Jose Hamaldin uh, 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 because of he brought the, the, those goals but in this season he's only scored two goals in the league out of 17 appearances and that is their main strike hands and Moapem Sunday started a couple of games, but I don't think they stand a chance of winning against Mamli Sanders because of first of all their home record, like it is it is worse, like they are struggling at home because of they've only uh, won once at home, and also they they don't concede much because of their six teams that have considered uh, a lot of goals compared to them, but they don't score, like they don't create, they scored uh, 11 goals 
they are the least uh, goals that they have scored in the league. And also, like you have said, their average goals per match it is 0. 0.5. I mean, that is poor. And you are up against a Mamelodi Sundowns that has only considered, I think, is it 12 goals in the league? Mm-hmm. So, like, it will be difficult for them to, 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 to win or to get a draw. But we'll see uh, how did the... the, the international break work for them. I think this will be a test to see uh, whether uh, 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 they are going to come out as a different team or not. Yeah. Do you think uh, they have what it takes to beat us? It would be so funny if they beat us because, yeah, uh, a lot of people might use video here. Yeah, how we would say as well. Eh? Rabs, they're uh, not going to agenda, no. Now we had the agenda, we had the agenda, no. But we're not going to push an agenda. We're just going to discuss uh, this. Uh, Riyad Rabs. Is Riyad the most suitable keeper in Alignona for the style of play that we, we, we play at Sundowns? The way he's so comfortable on the ball. Uh, you know, how do you stay there? On Saturday, I like... There were moments more to one against one thing, but no, Riyad was cool, calm, and uh, collected. He doesn't panic a ball eight out here in he, he he can play ball in between the players. Is he is he uh, uh, the, the the one keeper that styles Arona suits more than in, uh, any of uh, our keepers? I know Goss is also very good uh, with the ball uh, on the feet, uh, ball. because I feel like uh, having such a keeper. Uh, and in this comfortable on the ball, it gives you an edge, man. It gives you a, a, an edge over the opponent. You know, in, it's, it's finally go five aside. Go five aside when you have a very good goalkeeper, you have a, an extra a play infield player. Our ball. And how is how important is keeper that can play in the modern game? I think it's, it's very important. I mean, you look at what Pep did when he got to City. Joe Hart was a very good goalkeeper, man. He got rid of him. He got Bravo uh, because Bravo could play. But unfortunately for him, Bravo uh, uh, didn't do well. Every shot on target was a good. Yeah, every shot, you're right. Every, there was a point where by every there was a shot on target was a goal against Bravo. Yeah, but, and then he went and got Edison. And you look at all the top goalkeepers in the world right now. Edison, uh, uh, Allison, uh, Manuel Neuer. They can all play. They 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 they, they, they all good on the ball. You know, I won't mention uh, that one. Zalantimele, uh, red and white. Who uh, he can't play. He's awful. He's just a short stopper. Do you think Riyad style Sarona suits him better than all the goalkeepers? And because of that, should be, should he be our number one goalkeeper? Because he's also good at short stopping. He's also good at crossing. At 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 at, 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 at uh, uh, catching the cross. I mean. Look, uh, I think being number one, it is tough. But uh, coming to your point, uh, I think it is very essential to have a goalkeeper that is comfortable on the ball and also that is relaxed. And also that can pick a, a, a pass because of sometimes when they, 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 uh, they press our defense and there is no one to, 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 to pass in the middle field, you know that as a defender, you can rely on your goalkeeper to make that bad pass. And you know that your goalkeeper is comfortable and he will do a, 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 an important thing, which is to, 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 to keep possession. Because of, and also, if the team, they are pressing us and we, 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 we make a bad pass and the, the, the opposition, they insist to even press the goalkeeper, I think it works as an advantage for us because of the goalkeeper will have the ball and one of the defenders will stretch wide and open for the ball and the goalkeeper will make a pass. That means we'll, we'll have eliminated one of the strikers of the uh, 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 opposition with involving our goalkeeper in our play. So it gives us an advantage. And also when we progress with the ball, we, we have a lot of numbers uh, 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 up front. So having a guy like uh, uh, Riyad, I think it is important. And also, not only his abilities on the ball, I think his height and mm-hmm. also 
this season he he, he looks uh like he looks relaxed like uh, and also you don't expect those mistakes that you saw when he joined like every time when there's a cross Lorena's defense like Aruare next or hey, he might drop the ball or he might not get to the ball I think Lena he has uh, the, the confidence because I think the games that he played in the M10 eight I think they might help him and also this game that, 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 that I have because of playing continental football will always uh, uplift the, the, the confidence. So I think next season, he might be our, our number one, but this season, I don't think uh, uh, he might be the number one goalkeeper. Yeah, man. Um, I think Riyad, it took him a while for him to feel like a sundowns player. Yeah. I feel like he was happy to be at sundowns, but now he feels what he's, he is a sundowns player, you know, like he's confident or I belong here and yeah I think this season uh, we might continue with uh, Dennis for the rest of the season but from next season I wouldn't be surprised if Riyad is our number yeah. one goalkeeper I mean, yeah yeah because uh, uh, another thing age uh, uh, he's not a young boy Liana, but uh, Dennis uh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah and also the, the more he plays the more he'll be selected uh, for the Bafana Bafana side, and he'll go and help Bafana, and we will concede a, a lot of goals for national team. In that national team, whether you play or not, uh, whether you good or not, our the player are the trigger and train, right? Yeah, if if they did, uh, uh, Roshin would have uh, been scouted last week against France. Um, Raps, who impressed you the most on Saturday? Look, uh, I think it was collectively, I think they, they, they impressed me as a team, but in, individually, I think a guy like uh, 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 George Malule, because of George, he hasn't been playing a lot of games yeah. and like coming against El Marek and scoring a goal, and also like doing a lot of work in terms of helping us to progress with the ball, uh, regaining the position back, and also complimenting Andy Lejali as well. I think George did very well. And, uh, like, George, like, he's an experienced player. He wasn't playing a lot of games this season. And some some of some of the players would have, uh, like body language, not a born or like a sabato shalla team because of Pananta Sajal all along. But George used these opportunities, this this opportunity uh, that was presented to him. And I believe he showed the, the coaches that going forward, if uh, I'm needed in the starting lineup, you can uh, uh, pick me because of he did very well. I must say, uh, George's professionalism, whatever happens at the end of the yeah. season, yeah. I, I have so much respect for George. George has never yeah. sulked. Every time the coaches uh, talk about George, uh, 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 it's only positive things, you yeah. know. And and you see him on social media, he's already, always positive, man. He's always there for the teammates. It, it, it's not the easiest thing to do. I, he's a better a, a human being than me. I would have it would have killed me not playing. And for him to still be at high spirits and, yeah, man, I, I have so much respect for George, man. Whether he stays at the end of the season or he he, he goes somewhere for, for game time, I've got so much respect for George Malulek. I mean, yeah. Um, what do you expect from this game uh, uh, from both teams and Arapela? Now, I feel like Solos has way too many good boys. I feel like they lack... They lack a uh, 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 debt. They lack a uh, player at uh, uh, By debt, I don't mean what's what are raya the player at the team, but uh, players players uh, players that know what to do at what point uh, in time or uh, 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 like Swallow Simon, They have the good boys like in the middle field. Sometimes they would have cheesy li 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 they, those guys will always get outrun. So, so says, uh, there's a way that I want to use it. Uh, the player that are very good 
uh, when they have the ball. Yet once they don't have the ball, they struggle because most of the play- players that that's all the skinny ball players. They don't have yes, they don't have a donkey. They don't have someone who will do the dirty job more and more. No, you you will say you say to him, you win it, you give it to us. They don't have uh, someone like that because Lebo Mangaman, they are good with progressing the ball. They don't get into a a a. a the tackles, the challenges. Wabo Nyatama is very good with controlling the tempo of the game. He'll pass. He'll move the ball. Wabo. So they don't have that, and then they lack game, game, game intelligence as well as they lack game intelligence. You look at uh, the goal that they concede. They concede a lot of goals in the last ten minutes. They concede, I think, twenty-seven percent of their goals in the last ten to uh, uh, ten minutes. So Wabo. They their backline is not good at all, man. It's it's average. Uh, they play like they play like a a, a team in Hydro from camp traveling to the stadium. How about Bona Zilem? Blumel Majita calling. They ask you to come with your Jalala Bona backline in mall. Like so, I expect Sundowns to outrun a, a middle field or swallows. I expect Sundowns to create and I. If we create a lot in this game against Solos, we will definitely score the goal. Doable. I expect Sundowns to control the game, um, like I expect Sundowns to control each and every uh, uh, game. Doable. And Haki, another point that I uh, forgot to mention: Haniki, we have a game intelligence against uh, Royal AM. Royal AM was a man down. Yeah, they still able to know. How about take about twelve goal? I mean, you you need to be intelligent, okay, guys. But one about short, and we are away from home. Let's attack, but uh, uh, the attack is be sporadic because once uh, 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 we we can't afford to drop the points in this game. When you look at uh, position, yeah, but So how about player? You know, some things you don't need the coach to tell you. I mean, like some senior players, the ground number guys, okay, go so sins are so. Like I also down. I know if we find ourselves in tough situations, both AJ, but Abu, the senior players, both Shiga, they talk the magic. That was from your from your side. Look from uh, Solos, I expect a, 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 a team uh, that 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 is going to 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 be uh, more, more stubborn. I think the more they they, they stay. On the game, I think it is the more they are likely to get a, a, a point out of this game because of once they concede early, I think mentally uh, uh, they, they would know one another. It will be much difficult, much difficult to to come back and get an equalizer. And also, I'm expecting a Solos that is going to be more rigid at the back, like uh, uh, be more stable and clear, clear to those balls and react more more, more quicker. Uh, in some situations where they have to 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 defense and also we we we've, we've mentioned their average uh, uh, goal scored uh, uh, per game but we don't mention the the, the creativity I think it comes with a uh, uh, creativity if they they create a lot of chances I think they still have a chance of uh, maybe scoring one or two because of they they only look lively when Salem and a uh, a uh, uh, have the yes, ball. Yes. Yeah, they only look like when those two players have the ball because of the uh, uh, silent is more direct, he takes on defenders, and one v one, it can it can be a threat. And also look at uh, 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 Mashati, who, who uses skill to to create chances and to eliminate uh, the defenders. So I think uh, 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 the guys like Butch is well one they should step up and. Uh, raise their hands as well, uh, and also I'm expecting a guy like Kima uh, Musonda is not going to get a, a lot of chances, but the little chances that he gets, I think he should give the team something. But from Mamlu Sanders, I, I expect a team that is going to show a, a continuity. I think what we displayed against a, a, a El Marek was a very good performance. I'm expecting us to continue from that because of we are coming to the a, a last stages of the season. So it is where we should play a good football and a, 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 and a, a collect maximum points. And also I'm expecting Mamlu Sanders that is going to, to target the right-hand side of 
the right side defense of silos because of that is the side that is likely to to uh, 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 to, to let us have the the ball and uh, create a lot of chances because of they concede a lot of goals come from their right hand side and also I'm expecting us to to me to 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 be more direct like move the ball faster and quicker because of uh, Nyatama and Cheese they don't have enough speed uh, to to drag back and to close the spaces much quicker so I think if you can if we, if we, we can you pass and uh, uh, use the ball much quicker, we stand a chance of being uh, 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 in a different gear because of if we play at the lower tempo, we give them an advantage to regain and close those gaps. But if we move the ball quicker, we stand a chance of creating a chances and also exploiting that space. And also, I want us to overload the space in front of their defenders where you are more likely to find Nyatama and Cheese Boy. I think if you can overload that space, I think you still have a chance of uh, uh, creating chances. And also, uh, the team sometimes that tries to build up from the bed, but they can't because of the type of players that they have. So a, 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 a counter press, I think, will work for us in this game because of in a couple of games uh, against Al Marek and uh, Al Hilal, it has worked for us where we win the ball in the in uh, high up in the pitch, and the advantage of winning the ball high up in the pitch, you know that you only make a single pass, then it is one v one against the goalkeeper. So I'm expecting us to counter press and or to set those uh, uh, pressing traps. Your new nickname now, Ki uh, and also. There's something about Lonabum Dogish. Can I talk to him? What's what, what, what's that way that he always said? He always say. I mean, uh, last time I had Doctor Kumala Bua Nabuga, a team must play in economical football. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, Rabs, you know, I'm so warm. I'm concentrating on our jackets, then, and because of the lighting, uh, mine looks fake, man. <laughs> Hey, your lineup. Uh, my lineup. I will bring back uh, Denis Onyango. Uh, I, 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 I would uh, rest uh, Riyad. Uh, but against the team that we are going to face in the Netbank Cup, I think Riyad is likely to, to come back and start that game. I would have Mudau at the right back. I would have Roshin the Rook. Uh, uh, left center back. I don't know who to start between Lebusa and Mandela. Uh, but but I'll start. I'll start. I'll start Lebusa. I'll start Lebusa, and also I'll start a uh, line like he had a uh, left back. Then uh, six, I would have Andy Lejali, and alongside him, I'll start Tebo Mukwena and rest a uh, middle. I will give him another start against. Summerfield Dynamos. Then front four, I would start Tembazwane, Sapres Galan, Domingo, and Shaluli. Yes, yes, our lineups only differ a couple of one. I'm starting Kapinga. I'm starting Lesedi. Uh, but every everything else is the same. Um, I think uh, it will be a 2-0 win. Um, I think we'll control the game. I think uh, it will be one of those games uh, come the end of the season, you don't go back to watch. I think it will be a professional uh, display from Sundowns. Uh, you want a prediction? Uh, I think we, I will agree with you if we, we will win 2 0, and I hope uh, it doesn't rain in Soweto so that the pitch allows us to play our normal uh, 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 game. Asandawana, that's that. That's another installment of the Yellow Corner. Uh, you will see us on Friday when we preview our NetBank Cup uh, quarterfinal match, but the boys will bring you the, 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 the review of this match on Thursday morning. And I'm sure you guys are enjoying the content, that uh, the amazing content that you've been getting from Masanda Wana fan blog. Uh, I mean, the fan cams and the, the reviews, it's a lot. The announcement, it's a lot. So tell everyone who hasn't subscribed to subscribe. And until next time, shop, shop. Show them the Fairy.